Okay, let's retry this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but basically, what I was trying to say in the previous video, now that I'm remaking it, is the title's right there, it's asking the question, FCC trying to, FCC fighting to provide free Wi-Fi nationwide, or FCC trying to get free nationwide Wi-Fi, or fighting for nation, free nationwide Wi-Fi. Uh, basically, uh, the link will be provided below. You can read it off more, read more about it. But basically, it sounds like they want to provide free Wi-Fi. You know, for you know, basically provide the public with free Wi-Fi. You know, because we all know that when you have free Wi-Fi, like if you go to a McDonald's, you have free Wi-Fi there, and people love it. You go to a Starbucks, people love it. They got free Wi-Fi. All these areas. But what they're saying mainly is they want to provide free Wi-Fi in all areas. You know, like if you go to a restaurant and there's no free Wi-Fi. In, or, okay, for example, for me, I go to Supercuts to get my hair cut, right? I can't get, you know, when I look online, when I look up here for whatever networks there are, all of them are locked up. Basically, what it sounds like to me the same is they want to make sure public places like Save Mart, I mean, like Supercuts, like say a Walmart or a Save Mart or wherever, will provide free Wi-Fi for people so that way they can look stuff up online. Because let's not forget, not everybody owns an iPhone. Mostly people own, uh, hold on, hold on for a second, let me go and get it. Mostly, a lot of people own something like this, a regular cell phone. This is a track phone, as you can see. And mostly everybody uses this, or can only afford this. So, but unless you have money and you're willing to do it yourself, then you can get the latest stuff. Like my oldest sister and her family have HTC phones and iPhones and iPhone 5s or 4, whatever you call it. And my other sister in Modesto has the Samsung stuff. But what they're saying, basically it sounds like, is that for those that can only afford things like this, or let's say the new iPod 5 or whatever it is, that you won't have to worry about trying to get an access code at a public air, at a public at a public place, that you'll be able to have free Wi-Fi right off the bat. It sounds like that's what it sounds like to me. Basically, it's saying like, let's say again, you're at a restaurant and you're waiting for your food to be served. You're just surfing the internet, and would you basically what they're saying is that. You know, you'll be able to surf the internet while waiting without worrying about being locked out. Now, according to what this says too, and you'll read the, when you click on the link, you'll read it. It sounds like they're saying several companies that are known for offering free Wi-Fi or offering Wi-Fi as part of the service, like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, are trying to fight to take down the free wi take this down. In other words, not take down, like, let's say, the free Wi-Fi that's provided at places like McDonald's and all that, but take down the opportunity that would allow, take down FCC's opportunity that would allow free Wi-Fi all over. Now, I'm not totally sure, 100% sure on these facts. I mean, this is an email. I'm sure a lot of you got this email already. Well, some of you may have. I'm not sure. But it sounds, but basically, it, what they're saying is that those companies, and who knows who else, want to take the free Wi-Fi, take that down. It's like, okay, we're providing other places with free Wi-Fi to do, but we don't want everybody to have it if they choose not to have it. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. Again, I don't know all the facts. I'm just going by what was provided on the link that you can read when you click on the link. But again, 
my honest opinion on this is if this meet my honest opinion if we can get free Wi-Fi in most of the areas areas that you know do have Wi-Fi but they have a code and you need the code to get the free Wi-Fi my personal opinion my personal opinion I hope the FCC can do this and you know what's ironic though folks you know what's ironic about this is that just about a month ago or so, we had that we had that so-called new law or act put into action, or supposedly put into action, that new CAS law, if you will, and all of a sudden you're having the FCC coming out and saying, "Hey, we want to give people free Wi-Fi." So, technically, you have on one side, you have the CAS, CAS being put into action, and yet on the other end, you have the FCC saying, hey, we want to give people free Wi-Fi. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I just find it kind of ironic that that's happening, that, is, that this is being proposed or being talked about almost a month after. And you know, speaking of the CSS, apparently a lot of people are fighting against it. They got this demand progress pension going up that, you know, they want to, you know, get get rid of this thing or get it revised or something, I don't know. But again, the, the, the question is in the title below. FCC trying of FCC fighting for nationwide free Wi-Fi, you know, makes you wonder. But let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think this is gonna? Do you think there's more to it, or do you think this is something else entirely? Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you later.